We did a morning session at the Moore Expo and we have about a third of it left. So let's go check it out and see what we haven't seen yet. All right, go. So I have Libby from CB Adventure Supplies with me. So what type of items do you guys sell? Um, a lot of vehicle accessories, rooftop tents, roof racks, awnings, goose gear, all kinds of things. Four wheel campers now. So what are some of your main suppliers that you sell? Um, our main suppliers are going to be Alucab, uh, four wheel campers, goose gear, 2300, Sharpa Equipment Company. And we've got vendors in the booth with us this time. Okay. So I see a bunch of different chairs yep. here. So tell me a little bit about a couple of the chairs. So we've got the Austin King Goana and King Kakoda chair back here. Those are our favorites with a little side kick stool. So um, it's a kick stool? Yeah, it's a little foot stool. Okay. And then the 230 spring back chair and the Tasman chair are both real popular. Okay. We really like those as well. So what kind of, oh, so we got a go. model here for us. Yeah. And <laughs> So how much does a chair like that cost? So that chair is $139 and then the footstool is $50. Okay, nice. It's a good little deal. All right, and so do you have a website people can we order do. things from? CBAdventureSupply.com. Right. Um, I'm the shipper, so I'll ship it within a day or two. Nice. Yeah. All right, well thank you for showing of us course, your stuff. Of course, thanks for coming by. Yeah. I am Marcus with Stop and Go Tire Repair here. So what kind of supplies do you provide? So we provide a alternative to tire repair. So the traditional rope plug repair kit has a messy lubricant or a glue rubber cement. Our kit has no rubber cements, no adhesives, no glue, not messy, and it's a more permanent on the wheel repair. Um, our kit comes with a rasp tool that is standard in most tire repair kits. It also comes with a probe tool with a nozzle. With this, a trimming tool and our plugging gun. Mm. The first step to repairing a tire with our kit is to, of course, find your hole. So wherever the nail intrusion, whatever it was, you're gonna to wanna to remove that and take our probing tool and insert that into the tire. And this removes any excess debris that may have been stuck in the tire. You'll remove, take our, take our rasp tool, and this goes through and will clean the hole and get it to the proper size. Now with tires that have steel belted radial beads within, it is necessary to get this and make sure that they are smoothed down so they do not cut the plugs few times up and down, couple twists, generally does the trick. From this point, this is where Stop and Go's plug is different. We offer a mushroom style plug and this creates a two-way seal and I'll explain that a bit later. But this drops directly into this gun and with our nozzle we'll push that into the barrel. until it is completely gone. At this point, we'll take our nozzle and our probe tool, and this screws directly on, and we will insert this into the tire down to the shoulder of our nozzle. We then remove the probing tool, and we take our gun. This nozzle will be, need to be lubricated with a silicone-based lubricant or whatever you have available to you at the time. If it runs down to water, water works great. But this nozzle screws directly onto our gun. And then at this point, once you're in, one, two, three, and that fourth pull, and you're in, at this point you're gonna take your entire gun, pull up, plug is in the tire. With the inside of a t-shirt, a napkin, or a pair of pliers, you're gonna grab the tail of this plug, stretch two inches, and the inside of your tire is going to have an inner patch rather than a rope plug sticking through. So this is one of the seals. As, air, as you inflate your tire and air pressure pushes against these patches, you're going to have a compression push and then the tire itself is going to compress onto the tail of your stem. And that's our two-way seal without any glue adhesive. And from that point, you would take your trimming tool. And without pulling on your 
plug the trim flush. And that's how we use the stop and go 1085 deluxe tire repair kit. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. So what's the difference between that one and then the handle one, a more simpler one? So this simple one does the same exact thing as this gun. Okay. So the, the same nozzle fits with on our pocket footer, but the driving force rather than a trigger pull is going to be this hex key, and you just spin it down the barrel. Oh, okay. But it does the same exact thing. Hmm. So how much is the deluxe kit versus the other kit? The deluxe kit versus the other, the deluxe kit's $50, okay. and that comes with the more premium handles and then the gun itself, whereas our flagship product, the Stop and Go 1000 kit, is thirty dollars comes with a screwdriver handle and then the state-of-the-art pocket holder device fire starters they're 100 percent waterproof super easy to use you just light the edge of the package with any lighter or match put it under your wood or your charcoal that'll burn at 750 degrees for up to 10 minutes all completely food grade food safe material package is made out of compressed corn oil they're non-combustible, so they're safe to carry in your backpack, your pocket, your glove box, wherever you want to carry them in. They've got a 30-year shelf life. Well, what makes them really, really great to have, let's say you get out somewhere and you need to start a fire and everything got wet, your matches, your lighter, you just tear the package open, take out the contents, crumble it up a little bit, get that crumbled up, and now you can take a striker. And just like that, you got a fire going. Nice. Nice, nice. Now how long will that stay lit? Did it come in two sizes? They come in a 12 count, 12 count pouch, sells for $15. Or the 50 count canister sells for $40. Here for the show, we're doing a special. Just for just, for just $10 more than the canister, we're going to throw in the 12 pack and the strike. So you get that whole bundle for $50. How long will that stay lit then? In the package like this, up to 10 minutes. Crumbled up like this, about four minutes. Okay. Should be enough to get anything started. Well, if you didn't have any other way to get a fire going, yep. at least that gets you started. Yeah, exactly. If you need a little more fire when that starts burning down, you just add another starter to it, sure. now you're going to get up to 10 minutes of burn time yeah. out of that one, because you didn't open it and crumble it up. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right, thank you. This is Jake from Becker Supply. So you guys own a t-shirt company. Yes. So how did you get started with making t-shirts? So I've been in the industry for about 13 years making t-shirts so <laughs> in the screen printing industry and um, just have a passion for making apparel and good product. And my wife and I both have a graphic design background and we, want, we love the outdoors so we're like, Let's create a brand. So we started making a brand, and we've just gone full force into it. So nice. Now, do you make T-shirts for other people if they would come to you? We do. Yes, yeah, so we do custom apparel. We do custom design, mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. So what type of T-shirts do you use? Like, is there a special kind of brand that you like to work all with? All brands. Or? I mean, we like working with like Bella Canvas or AS Color companies like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we offer anything. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right. I have Rich from Devos Lighting with me. So can you tell me a little bit about your lights? Sure. So our lights are 1200 lumens. And uh, when you get 1200 lumens of light, you turn that up, blow your camera out, <laughs> and you put it up nine feet, you get a, a lit up area of about 60 feet. And so what that does is it gets the light out of your eyes, the bugs away from your food, and kind of lights up a 60 foot area, more like natural light from the sun or from within your home. Now you've got another version of this that you came out with this year. We do. We call it the 800, it's 800 lumens. So it's a little bit smaller. It still has many of the same functions. Uh, just more of, a, more of a budget model. And not quite so bright. Not quite so bright. If people feel that's like right. that one's too bright. So that's 1200 and this is 800. And then you have some lenses you can put on that we one do. also? Yes. So we have a, a three-piece lens kit. And what you can do, boy, I'm all over the place here. <laughs> Let's pop that off. 
and easily snap on a lens and then it changes the color. And why would you choose red? So red is for night sky, so you can still see the stars at night and it also makes it so you can still have night vision. Nice. No, you're good. And uh, the other lenses, the, in the uh, amber one is for insects. Mm -hmm. You still get plenty of light around your campfire, but cuts way down on the insects. Yep. And then the yellow one we use just to cut down on the, the harsh glare of really, really bright white. Kind of gives you a campfire glow. So does this come with the lights or is this an accessory? This is an added accessory for $18. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. All right. And how much do these lights go for? The lights go for about $154. Sometimes they're promotions that happen on our website. At the show, it's $139. So that's for the big one? How much is the $800? $109 at the show. Yeah, $119 online. Another option is a, a solar panel. It's a 20-watt solar panel. And we built a little receiver into it right here. It will actually plug into the top of the light. And then, as you have it up on your stand, you still need to run a USB-C cord from the bottom of the light to the uh, plug. Okay. But at that point, uh, with a 20-watt solar panel and USB-C fast charge protocol built in, if you have plenty of summer sun, it'll charge to 60% in an hour and fully charge in under four hours. So if you've got it sitting out all day while you're doing your other stuff, it's going to be fully charged by the time you need to use it the next exactly. night. Exactly. You never have to worry about pulling the head off and charging it. Yeah. So what kind of mounting yeah. systems What's, do you have for, uh, you for these lights? So the light comes with a tripod base, okay. uh, which is uh, adjustable. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the way up and it can adjust the way out. So okay. it depends on where your use is. Mm -hmm. If you use it inside the home for backup lighting, you may not want the legs all the way out to trip over. Right. But if you're outside in the wind, you're going to want the legs all the way out. That makes sense. We do ha also have some other okay. stake options. This is a basic stake. You can push into the ground, take the tripod off. We recommend that you put it into the ground up to this point right here. This is like a built-in spade. And then another option we have is called the slam stake. That looks heavy duty. It's heavy duty and it has a built-in built -in slide hammer. Um, it works really well for our lights, but also with the included adapter. You can use it for flagpoles and umbrellas and a lot of different options. Nice. Oh, thanks a lot. We really like this. He's a light guy, so he's all about this. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for the opportunity. Yep. I have Matt from Blue Ridge Overland here with me today, and he has a bunch of different storage solutions. We have many of them ourselves, and we want to promote them and show them off here. Can you explain how your stuff works? Yeah, so basically what we do is, is we work on storage in places that's, that's wasted space in a vehicle, in a trailer, or something like that. So you start with things like, when you look at like a molly panel, or this is a seat panel, right? And basically you've got three points of attachment. You've got the slits that work with Molly Powell's webbing, which is kind of the military uh, project. You've got daisy chain running this way, and then you've got Velcro. And basically all the pieces kind of work together. So when you look at something like a general purpose pouch that would mount to this, it will also mount to the front of a tool bag or a first aid kit bag so that each piece kind of works together. And when you're looking at it like as you go down through the as you go down through stuff, you'll see the back of this has these loops on it, right? So these loops match up with the straps here. So each piece can either clip to it, molly to it if you want to permanently attach it, more permanently attach it, or you can run Velcro style stuff. So I can stick it on with Velcro if I need something that's kind of quickly removable, a little bigger, I want to take on and off sometimes, or I want to permanently mount. And then each piece works with the next piece. So for example, if I take a look at this tote bag, this tote bag runs the exact same straps on it. So if I want to attach this to the back, I can attach this to either side of it. It'll fit one flat in the bottom and three across the top. And then if I want to pull this out and leave it in my truck, I can clip it straight to my truck. So it gives me the ability to go from sort of going to the grocery store, throwing my stuff in the, throwing my stuff in the trailer solution to 
oh, I'd really like to have this on the seat, or I'd really like to take this to, let's say, a bathroom bag, right? So, you know, this is a bathroom bag. So if I'm going to, if I'm going to the shower house, I can actually hook this to this, and then when these open up, I now have bathroom solution, clothes solution, miscellaneous other stuff, right? All in kind of one thing. I can pull that out of my tote bag, and here's Tuesday's clothes, right? Our headrest solution stuff, right? So one of the, again, going back to space that you don't normally think about being used, back of the seat's a space that doesn't typically intrude much into the passenger seat, or again, mounts into a trailer pretty well, mounts on, you know, you can mount on the interior of trailers all over the place, or Velcro panels where this is, a, this is mounted to a headrest, and I can pull my first aid kit off and take it with me. Headrest doesn't intrude into the vehicle very much. It gives me the ability to have, you know, some safety stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Some first aid stuff, stuff that we all should be carrying every day, not just not just when we're camping. And it keeps it with our, in arm's reach of the driver. So I can have it in the back of the passenger seat. I can grab it. Passenger can reach back and grab it. Back seat person can grab it. But we all have access to this. Or if I want to go, if I want to go out and I'm just going to go hiking for the afternoon, this is my sort of day kit. I can peel that out, throw it in a backpack and I've got all that stuff and I don't have to go looking through the vehicle to find it. And I can tell somebody, hey, pull the red, pull the red bag off the headrest. Because that's the key, right? Anytime you're under stress, you want to make stuff really simple. You know, like I keep my fire extinguisher on the, my back passenger door. So if I, want to tell, if I want to say, hey, grab the fire extinguisher, open the door, it's right there, right? As soon as you open that door, it's attached to the seat right there, you can pull it out. Nobody has to think about, I don't have to think about where it's at or how to find it, right? I don't have to detach it. I don't have to do a bunch of work like that. Which again is the key if you've got something that's gone wrong and that's the time when you need stuff like this is when, you know, crap's gone sideways, right? Um, and that's really what we kind of work towards is, you know, being able to store tools in a, in a safe manner so they don't become a projectile in the car. Mm -hmm. So that if you're in an accident, it doesn't come flying across the, it doesn't come flying across the place. We can attach that and kind of keep it together. Fire extinguisher, same way. We keep it close by. You're not crawling through the back. It's not attached to the back glass and you're trying to go over your fridge to get your fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's right at the back door. First aid kit is not buried someplace. We know exactly where that's at. Now, we may carry a bigger first aid kit someplace else, but basic stuff is going to be here. And that's, that's kind of the whole thing. It's about finding those spots in the vehicle or finding those spots in the trailer that don't interfere with your daily life, but you can keep the stuff that you should have with you all the time. So these are, we use these all over our storage as storage solutions. We have a blue one that we have our meds in, so we know yep. where are the meds. Go find the blue bag. Yep. Then we have a bunch of black ones, so it looks exactly the same, but it's black. And that has our stakes in it, so when we're setting up camp, go grab the black bag. We have gray ones that have our clamps that we use around camp. So this is the perfect size to collect and to store a bunch of solutions around the campsite. Yeah, and the slick thing is with the Velcro, you can run adhesive Velcro. You know, you can run adhesive loop Velcro to the back of like your door you were talking about, yeah. and then stick this to it, and you don't have to drill through anything. Yes. And we have some panels. We actually have some. Uh, we actually make some panels that you can mount. You know, that you can actually screw into stuff. But the adhesive Velcro works great for stuff like that. Perfect. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. We love your products. Thank you. And of course, we had to stop the Piker trailer. Sixty view inside the uh, inside the tent. It's got two and three quarter memory foam mattress on the inside. Full blackout material as well. So let's say it's. You know, noon, it feels like midnight on the inside. Um, all four corners you can open up and leave with the mosquito net up. It's got come standard with uh, the cargo on the inside, up top, and also the LED strip on the inside. Um, standard comes with the crossbars, so you can put up to 175 pounds on the roof. So if you have kayaks, bikes, things like that, you can put as well. Very cool. Thanks. Yeah, of course.
So if you guys are shopping for a tailgate cover, check out AL Off-Road USA. I didn't get a chance to interview them, but they make some awesome products. We got a chance to look at them and take a look. They make different colors and different styles. The awesome thing is they have a couple of deep dish cup holders. So if you are in the mood to buy a tailgate protector, this is definitely one you want to take a look at. AL Off-Road USA. Thanks for checking out our coverage of More Expo 2023.